It's time for the Daily Panel, where Joe's Factory Associates get to review recently made merchandise. Merch. To some product. Or dog food. <gasps> Seriously, they take their quality. Shh. Shh. What? They eat the food themselves. Ah. Uh. Kirsty, who oversees I'm good. Okay, I thought this was gonna be like a really dramatic like lead up of like, oh, him and his crew come in and then they're just gonna bring a bunch of dogs. It was gonna be like a really cute, like, oh, the crew is dogs. It's like, no, it's actual people eating dog food. This one's got peas and carrots. In She's the like Gordon Ramsay of the dog food world. She said, there's some peas and carrots in here. Like, oh, okay, girl. <laughs> I feel like anything that my animal eats, I should be able to as well. So good. But also, oh. Oh, is this a sound person? Oh, a Foley artist. Okay, I learned all about this when I took cinematography. Oh, I love gloves with paper clips are dog paws. Even what you hear. Whoa! From footsteps on a snowy path. Oh! This is crazy to me, though. Yeah, I've seen this before. This is actually pretty sick. Holy artists practice their That's honestly so cool, though. The things that they do are so creative. They're, like, bringing in random stuff. I think it's a super cool job, and you actually have to be really good at it. I didn't know of the position, like, name, but I knew that there's people, like, behind the scenes making the sounds sometimes, yeah. My name is Tori Curl, and I'm a certified smeller at Nissan. <gasps> certified smeller? I think new car smell does improve the driver's experience. It's pretty important to um, you US customers. She's not wrong. Wait, hold on. No, I would actually be so upset if like somebody just sniffed down my car just like right before I got it. Like, girl, get your get your nose out of my car like that. Like, what are you doing? This is bizarre. Five smells. You get to um, be on the odor panel and that's why. And she's got a clipboard. She's going through checklists. They kind of highlight if oh. bad odors or good. That makes sense though. Like. That new car smell is so significant to so many people who buy cars. I am deeply intrigued. A sniffologist, an odor connoisseur. We all know new car smell, but that's her a whole job? Matt Slagle is one of the master model <gasps> behind these- At Legoland! Yes! Oh, wow. York, San Francisco. Bad job for me. And Las Vegas. These are so- so they're so cool. Million blocks on Miniland USA, with New York alone using three million. And everything there, from a car to the Statue of Liberty, had to be built exactly on a one to 20 scale of its real life counterpart. What? And like the way that, it, even down to the bottom, like, that's insane. Here in each of San Francisco's painted ladies. Wow, that's pretty incredible. How do you like, get this job. What do you put on your resume? It is crazy to know. Hey, real quick, somebody put that together. Person, hands, bricks, did that. <laughs> so what do you do for a living? My best, Tom. I do my best, okay? No. What is this? I do my best, okay? Soap? Oh, food! Oh, is this like a commercials? Oh, okay, that's, that's gorgeous. I had to give it some time. Swear to God, I thought that was somebody who just works at the the Ego Warehouse, just snipping waffles. <laughs> oh yeah, burn it! Wow. Why would you grill watermelon? I knew they styled it somehow, but I didn't know that that was how they did it. Oh, that is some pretty bacon. I gotta admit. I gotta admit. So the profession here is food styling. Food stylists basically just make food look really good for advertising and for commercials. That's, that's cool. Fun fact for those watching, we actually have a food artist and culinary producer on our team for our People vs. Food channel. Yee Go subscribe to them. Shout out to People vs. Food. You'll see me over there. <laughs> good luck is a hop, skip, and jump away. Hop to it. <gasps> to make fortune cookies? James recently took over writing fortunes from his predecessor who retired due to writer's block. Oh, what a sad day. Due to writer's block, huh? Uh, not writer's block from the fortunes. He just got tired. Like, that's why some of them don't even be fortunes now. They just be telling you stuff. Writing a fortune is, is actually a, quite difficult. Uh, it's a small piece of paper. It's basically like a tweet. But I find myself- Success is a team sport. That's not a fortune. Advice people on. I've gotten some real stupid ones sometimes, though I won't even lie. 
Oh, I would love to write some fortunes. I think I'd be really good at it for a short time. Elaine Hall is what is known in Hollywood as a baby wrangler. Her job is to make sure that child actors are safe on set. Oh. And that they give the I get that, and that is very important. Hollywood has specific time limits for how long- I do know that. Work. I am a child, so I do have to follow those rules. <laughs> I don't know if the job title is like the best name, a baby wrangler. It sounds like she's about to get the lasso, like get your ass over here. When working on Aquila and the Bee, she was able oh. to get a baby to hysterically cry on command simply by fake crying herself. <laughs> That's hilarious. She's like, if you cry, if I cry, you cry. Team sport. Success is a team sport. I didn't know about these. And they are so good at what they do, at getting that shot done so fast. Hey, who's ready for a quick social- I work in entertainment at Disneyland. I know a couple people who work at Disneyland. Sometimes you can see me. Come on, America, I believe in you. But most of the times you can't. So? because I drive the floats. He drives the floats? There's people driving the floats? I thought they just go. I never thought about people driving the floats. I thought it was honestly one of those just like, they just know the path. I worked at Disney, I did parades at Disney, so I knew a bunch of the float drivers. What do they see out of, what do they see? Not a lot is the answer. Your favorite video game characters might be created digitally. I saw this. Somebody they do this for like Just Dance and stuff. Yep, mocap. Mr. Richard Dorton. Oh, I, I've done this. Specializes in- You've actually done it? Yeah. All kinds of video game characters. Oh, this is what I would like to do. All right, I would like to do this one. I've had a couple of friends who have done mocap, but like, it's so cool to see stuff like that. Are captured by a computer in real time. These uh -huh. actions are then translated to the CG okay. character in the game. That's pretty sick. All the more realistic, he has to get really physical, especially for particularly dramatic moments like this roar. <laughs> wow, dude, chill. Wow, he's good at that. This one I'm jealous of. Put me down, I'm in. Okay, a melon cutter. Nope, it's a no for me. Listen, shout out to all the fruiteros out there selling the fruits on the streets. She's very fast. Don't chop your fingers, girl. Decorative fruit. No? Damn it. I'd only be able to count up to probably eight and a half if I had this job. Are we positive it's not a fruit basket? I'm getting very fruit basket-y vibes. Are these the people who like package the boxes of fruit? Wait, they don't just come like that? They're not like cut by like machines, they're hand cut. A lot of people are surprised by the fact that all of that packaged fruit yeah. at the grocery store is actually cut up by somebody in the back of the grocery store. Yeah, the ones that come in the little cups, yeah. I assumed, just like I'm assuming there's someone who like bags up the little like bulk items. And I know some grocery stores just have it, like the people out and like I've seen them cut the fruit. That's their daily thing. Yep. Going back there and chopping them cubes for you at Whole Foods. Would you want any of these jobs, Ulysses? Um, particularly no. Um, but it was really interesting to like find out what people do on a daily, you know? I actually think the most amusing one was the Disneyland float driver. The driving the float thing. I think that would be a I think that'd be fun. But I think for a short period of time, because I think I might get a little bored. I would wanna be the fortune cookie master writer. Well, there gotta be some, some twists and turns in there. I gotta tell people to be like, always look over your shoulder. You never know what's happening. I wanna write those kind of fortunes. Hey, you did a great job watching this episode. Help us keep our jobs by subscribing to this channel. Would you want any of these jobs? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching guys, bye. Bye. Me, a Foley artist. Is that's the sound for a body being dragged across a table?